Hi guys, this is Clarence from Asian Tech Guy. Today I started this video of a heavy hut. I just got news this morning when I woke up that our family dog, uh, she's been out with us for seven years. She met a car accident and uh, passed away within uh, moments, even before reaching the vet clinic and uh, went to see her off for, for the last time this morning. Uh, it was really difficult, although she isn't living with us. Uh, she's staying with my brother, but we frequently see her a lot and she comes over for staycations, if you will. And uh, before I got married, uh, I was, you know, living in the same household with her. She was here with us 2014 for a good two years. I mean, the bond I had with her is something that I cannot forget and she will definitely remain in my memory. So I thought this video is, you know, a tribute for her because this video is about uh, used parts hunt an installation and assembly of parts that uh, I can flip to be ranging from budget to mid-tier gaming PCs. And so far, the best GPU I have, actually I traded up for a 2070 Super, so I got my 2060 Super out for someone else. And also I have some 1660 Supers as well. So without further ado, let's run ahead. So I'm actually using this wireless laveler that I got from the China marketplace Taobao. And I mean, it's real convenient, but I think the quality isn't real good. There's a hissing sound, and I read that uh, that is due to some kind of interference. I don't have time now, but I'll try to play around with it and see if I can, you know, uh, somehow reduce the interference somehow. Or otherwise, I'll do it in post, in software, but that will create some artifacts from what I heard. We're on a budget, so we can't afford the upgrade. Famous brands like Rode, those are a few hundred, this is only like 30 bucks. So you can't expect that much, as long as it works and give me decent quality audio that you guys can hear me. It's good enough for now. So these are the five mid towers that I got, and some new stuff to fit in them. Next, these are stuff that I picked out. A few old towers that need some loving, some dusting, and a few other components as well, which I'm going to do so later. And here comes the mess. That's a potato PC that's waiting to be sold. Over here we have a Piotara of motherboards. That's my test bench. GPUs right there. Then over right here, we have a lot of random stuff. Hard disks. And in here we have like some CPU coolers. We have a Ryzen CPU box, two of them and a Kodan Master PSU, which I have already used for some other build. I used it to store some hard disks. And yeah, up there, some GPUs. Yeah guys, the house is in a mess. I'm really lucky that my wife didn't kill me. So it's time to get some dusting done. Uh, I hope I can blow all the worries away. Let's go! Here we go with this guy. This trusty blower from Baron. You guys see this before? Let's get this two GPUs dusted. Alright, see the dust flying out. Ports. Micro ATX, rather micro ITX board. I'm trying to use this in one of uh, my personal builds. It's a secondary in the office. So I'm gonna try to give this 16 gigs of RAM and probably a 16 16 super. This actually is houses a uh, i5 6500 in here. It's kind of plenty for office needs and do some light editing as well, probably. It should work. This thing is actually already quite clean, so I'm just going to give it a quick blow. Just rip this off right here. Oh, damn it. I actually, it actually looks pretty fine. So guys, this is the i5-6500 system. It's housed in this pretty cute 
Corsair carbide kind of boxy case in the MATX form factor with a dual chamber design. And this goes for 450 bucks with like 8 gigs of RAM, it's just one stick, 1066 gigabytes, 750 watt power supply, uh, 6500 and a regular kind of, I don't know, Intel board, some blue fans, and the nice thing is that it comes with some cable sleeves. And I believe this is some kind of a cryoc CPU cooler. I'm not sure whether it's hit 7, but I doubt so. It's a one fan design. And initially, I thought like that doesn't seem like a great, great deal. Or rather, that of a great deal. For the specs, I can't really sell this for a lot. But uh, now when I look at it, I realize that, hey damn, we have this. We have a HX 750 from Corsair. This goes for about 200 new. So this alone makes it all worthwhile. And for this system, this is kind of definitely overpowered. I will take it out, use it for a different build. This is actually 80 plus pattern rated. This guy donate this. I'll probably use something like a 500 watt power supply. That will be definitely sufficient. So without further ado, I'll probably strip this thing out and let's dust everything here. I'll, I'm a bit lazy to strip all of this. So I'll just blow the duster through this and call it a day. But first, I'll get, get a power supply out first because I definitely want to get that in, use that in another build. As I said, this new guy comes in handy. Get in focus, come on, yeah. Comes even with yep, the light there and I attach this long Phillips head screwdriver. Allows me to get in deep. All right, let's strip this guy out. Maybe at this point, I even strip this out and I build a Ryzen system in here instead. Might as well do that. I'll think about it as I go. Guy out. Why I leave the processor on? Because can do this. Use it as a handle. Comes off real easy. Alright, so this supposedly is a Ryzen 5 2600 system. Upon close instruction, it's a Ryzen 5 1400. So it's not what I expected, so I only paid 200 for this. And I think it includes an RX 570 average leaf and 16 gigs of RAM at 2400 MHz case, but it looks decent. So I will definitely keep this. Take off the front panel first. I believe this is snap off as well. Let's dust the front real quick. I see some spider webs around here. <laughs> Snap off real easy. Alright, just wipe down off all the dirty parts. Alright, that's a wrap. Now off the building, putting some parts together. Right, this guy is at 2600, just because I'm lazy to get everything out. I'm just gonna get this GPU out, because, just because it's white. The strategy is this, I have two the Ryzen 5 3600s, two 2600s. In total, three 1616 Supers and one 2060 Super, if I recall correctly. So I'm gonna pop one of the probably ugly looking 1616 Supers in here. Just because this case uh, isn't that nice, or rather it's nice but it's kind of old. We'll see. We'll pop the mini one in here. Right. White GPUs are kind of hard to come by. That's a very nice cut by Asus. That's the dual GTX 1066 gigabytes. Okay, I've tested this. Everything works fine. They have this generic RAM you can see from here. Let's populate this guy. So it comes equipped, if not wrong. You have a one terabyte hard drive in there. And an MX500 from Crucial. 
6 gigabytes plenty enough so I'm popping this 1660 Super by Zotac the mini variations 6 gigabytes in there it will look a bit small but performance wise it's no matter for sure I've tested it myself as I go on this part's hand I actually got a nice cool collection here as well look at that Ooh. Let's get this thing in. Plug in that PCIe connector. So now we left to pop it the fence. I want to make this have some bling bling. So I'm going to pop it this with some snowman RGB fence. I really do hope that this 500 watt Seasonic 80 plus drones. Here. 80 plus bronze power supply is plenty enough for all these components. I hope it is. There's a plastic here that should come off. Right there. Small peel guys for it. Alright. Perfect. I think three fans is sufficient for this. Two in the front for intake and one exhaust behind. Ah, damn it. Okay. Cable management this guy will be a pain. I try to do what I can. So I first install the exhaust fan. Just like that. I think that's it. We just gotta tidy everything and we should be good to go. Well, I hit that part. Gotta do it, it's part of the AC building. Just zip tie this to make it slightly tidier. That's about it. I won't do much. Just leave this off. Put this whole case up. Alright, one down. Just because the case is kind of old and have this ugly ram sticks. Uh, at 2400, I think I'll probably swap it out, si sort it out since this is the 2600 or maybe I'll just leave it in here, perhaps uh, I'm using this super flower, 600 watt power supply, although it's 80 plus gold but it's missing this uh, Molex which the fans require so I'm trying to adapt like SATA power to Molex then of course I have uh, M.2 256 gigabytes from Samsung. This is a PM961 256GB. This has DRAM on it. And a 1TB ter hard drive from Seagate. Of course, there's that RX570 I believe in there, or 580, I'm not sure. And powering this at the heart of it all, the 2600 Ryzen 5, and the trusty old stock cooler. Uh, I'm not sure whether this cooler still works, but if it doesn't, I probably swap it out for a snowman or something of that sort. Alright, let's get building. So guys, I realized it's the RX 470 4GB variation. Whatever, that will work. So installing M.2 is easy. Just pop this guy in the slot. Boom, and just screw it on gently. I actually destroyed some Stenos before because I didn't know how to install it. I added too much pressure or rather overscrewed it. So just as it clicks there, yeah, it can stop. It's not going anywhere. Cables, I think processor first. All right, real easy. We get this out. And clips this triangle right here and align with the triangle on the board. Just put it in. Want to be gentle to avoid any bad pins. Let's press that down, give it a wiggle, it's done. Now we apply a P-Science dollop of a trusty GT900, just like that. Then this cooler is real easy to install, so we install it in any way we want. So I'm going to put it this way. I don't really care whether the, the logo is facing up or down, that doesn't really matter too much to me. Alright, so we align it with the screw holes on the motherboard. Alright, so you want to screw this in, in a crisscross fashion. So down this way, you hear that sound, that's good. And then the other diagonal. Then this side. On the other side, you want to incrementally tighten this. Not all in one shot. Clamps down with equal pressure. 
right. So when it's done, you should be able to feel it right here. Very obvious. All right, that's done. Then I don't know why I missed out this Modux connector. There's only one, but I'm not sure why I missed it. So we don't need to use that junky connector anyway. I will still stick with this both flower. I'm too lazy to bring out another one. All right, we'll first install the hard drive into the bay. Uh, I hope we got the right hole. Yeah, let go. Okay, and clips that. Put this guy in. Something like that. Okay. So that's six. Boom. So same drill. Those snowman fans. Two intact and one exhaust again. Now that everything is right through behind, we do the same these fan connectors. Ah, just like that. This last guy goes in. Here. One, and we will probably zip tie this down. That looks pretty sweet, eh? How's that? Cable management? I guess that ain't too bad. So I'm gonna put this back together and we call it a day for tonight. Gonna fetch the baby. Alright, the most challenging part is this guy right here. Make sure you don't crush any cables. Put it down. The same technique always works. Lean into it. Lean into it and then slide. Front panel in. Just snap that goes. Boom. It's just easier to put when it's on its side. You can add a bit more pressure that way. Alright. Two systems done. Just left to test out, I mean, assemble all and then test through everything.